that's, that's what you can do with electronics. That, that's the adjacency of electronic music, you know, which is there you have a circuit that's designed to do one thing, and you brush your pick against it while it's vibrating. Yeah. Um, to step from listening to Huan to playing that is but the tip of the pick. Right? And um, you have that in a hardware world, in a certain hardware world, usually in what's called an analog world, though there are situations in which you can do that if you interact directly with digital hardware. Um, the problem, and, and this is something I've also spoken to John Bowers about a lot, is it's very difficult to behave like that with software. It is very difficult to do freestyle programming and expect it to run from one operating state to another to another. You to run. I would aim the trombone at a mic and I get feedback going. And when you adjust the slide, of course, it changes the resonance of the trombone, so the feedback changes pitch. And then as you move in the room, of course, that also selects different modes. So it was like your little dance steps were the embouchure work, and then this was the slide work, and you could play the feedback. And it was actually quite nice. It was, had a certain mournful, you know, like blues on a gramophone quality to it. Uh, not very bluesy, actually. It wasn't that good. It was like white man music on a gramophone. But... Um, <laughs> So I had this instrument around, and I said, oh, duh, you know, the slide. The slide is a slide pot. So what I did was I, I put a small keypad on the slide of the trombone, and then I went out and I got a retractable dog leash. Well, if truth be known, I went to the local pet store, and I said, do you have a retractable leash for a very small dog? And they said, we even have one for a cat. And I said, a cat? How could you, have you ever tried to walk a cat? <laughs> and with all due apologies, and I lived in Berlin for many years, and I have, I have uh, Deutsches Blut, uh, I will have to say that he turned the package to me and he showed that it was made in Germany, which sort of <laughs> explained everything. But, uh, so I took my, my German cat leash back home and I ran it around a <laughs> shaft encoder so that when the slide went out, it pulled the leash and it wrapped around this knob and it turned the knob. And the knob was continuous rotation. It was a half a mouse. So like, ha! Um, it was a continuous rotation pot. Now you use them as data wheels on all sorts of technology. At that point, this was something you had to like sweet talk your way into the inner recesses of Hewlett Packard in order to get a free sample sent to you as, I don't know what lie I used, but um, I think it was the single most expensive object on the whole instrument. So what happened was that by pressing buttons and moving the slide in and out, you could increment and decrement as many registers or parameters in your computer program as you had buttons. In other words, it was just like clicking and dragging on a screen. It's just that instead of having to look at a point on the screen yeah, and make a number box go up and down, you would just say, oh, this switch is the length of my sample. This switch will do pitch. And it was incremental, an incremental controller, like a mouse, which is you know that with a mouse you can either click and make a big pull or if you have a little desk, or you're doing it on an airplane, you go click, 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 right? This is clear to everybody. I don't have to explain this. 15 years ago, I had to explain it. Um, so it was a, it was a, uh, a mappable controller. It was like having uh, with a, a keypad to control parameters. Um, there's an ultrasound here that measures where the slide is. This is from some company that makes uh, range finders for robots. Had to be sort of hacked together. Uh, there's a breath control here. This speaker was my, my major discovery. The, the first trombone only had high frequencies in it, which doesn't make sense for a trombone because it used a PA driver. And I looked at the, uh, those 
Space Age speakers that they put on the old iMacs that you find in, in rubbish bins everywhere, and I realized that it matched the size of the embouchure perfectly, and it had much better low-end response. And the interface is from uh, Sukandar Kartadinata, who runs a wonderful small company in Berlin. It's an Ethernet-based data acquisition system that can gather analog data switches. Qualities of what I was working with earlier um, in the in the system. Uh, it's held together with rubber bands from broccoli. And this is an indication of just how unprepared I was by the time I got on the airplane for this. So, uh, let's see, I think I have a CD coming in. I'm at the point, I'm learning it, so I still need to uh, get a little visual feedback here and there. But let's see, with luck. Um, Secretary in an office who's hearing this information for the first time. All right, I have a CD coming in. Speaking. Listen to the way that she's. Listen to the way that she's. Listen to the way that she's speaking. Listen to the way that she's. Listen to the way that she's speaking. So I made a little loop. Listen to the way that she's speaking. Listen to the way that she's speaking. To the way that she's speaking. Listen 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 to the way that she's speaking. All right. So, um, it basically, at this point in the software development, we've got um, the ability to take in a sample. Uh, I have a breath control. Replay. I can articulate it in two different channels. One channel goes to the trombone speaker itself. The other channel Who's, uh, goes to the PA <laughs> so that if I want more low end in the system, I can get it happening. Corporation or by his <laughs> Because when I'm down there, it's not going to be reproduced by a speaker this size, right? Um, then there are various things that I can do in terms of uh, moving pointers around so that you can change the... He's making some money being this good at it, and he's making some money being this good at it. He's making some money being this good at it. Um, there's also. And he's making some money being this good at it. And he's making some money being this good at it. And he's making some money being this good at it. And he's I've fallen in love with these old electronic music sounds of uh, ring modulation and frequency shifting single sideband stuff. Money being this good at it. So you can do that. And he's making some money being this good at it. And he's making some money being this good at it. And he's making. There are a number of parameters that allow you to use the slide movement to. Scramble through a wide range of different point values. He's making some money. He's making some money. 